Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> it is the 1st of December and we are going foraging for decorations. I look like trash because of this one back here. It's a baby back there with the bobble on her head. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I've got... The this is my <laughs> baby storage if everything goes wrong but also it's uh it's my little uh what would it be called holly basket <laughs> now it is quite dark that's the only thing so there's one holly bush just outside here that i'm going to try and get some branches off of just today even if we get a small little bit done Get out of here. And nobody saw it. So I don't know how much of that you saw because because uh, the thing kept falling. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is our stash of holly. Oh, she's very excited <laughs> and uh, there's some ivy as well which I might go for but it, it's in a they're in kind of prickly bushes and um, I don't want a baby attached to me while I'm going hunting inside the bushes so I'm gonna get those another day but I, we also have a holly bush over there but that this one was actually encroaching out onto the road a bit so I'm doing such a good deed and there's also rose hips, which would look lovely. They've gorgeous red berries. And also I could use them for stuff later. I've always wanted to harvest rose hips. And uh, I have a plan. So I also harvested loads of dogwood, which is uh, basically a plant, a red, red stem dogwood. And uh, you can use them like willow to make um, baskets and I was thinking they're actually whippy enough to make wreaths and they're beautiful colour. Let me show you. So these are the dogwood stems and they, you know, some of them are quite small. I, I haven't de-stemmed de all of them. Um, <clears throat> so that is my plan. I also wanted to go up to um to the rose hips and see if i could get those so let's do that as well this has been pruned back and not cleaned up noticeably um it's still so mild we're still getting roses how insane is that beautiful roses actually but there's a bunch of rose hips up here which are stunning oh they were already cut down for me so I think these will be really pretty as decoration. And um, yeah, I 
that would be super cute. So. Let's try this. Oh, they're so pretty. They're thorny. Yeah, I know. I oh, almost bit of clematis or something. Beans. Beans is behind me. Lots of big grapes. Is that what was going on? Hmm? Is that what was wrong with you? You poor little sausage. I know it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, you saying hi to beans? He's saying hello beans. Hello beans. There's a lovely beans, says you. Hello beans. Ah, so lovely, you know. Lovely colours. And they need to be cut back anyway, so. Hello jam. Oh, we're all out. I don't really like that one, but it's in my face. So down you go. Yeah. Are you singing along with me, baby? Are you singing along with me? How does one store blue tips? That's, like, that's the next question. Oh, I'm, I think I might hang them inside in the in the garage. Just uh, yeah. Do you think that's a good idea, baby? Yeah. Are you singing? Are you babbling? Are you babbling, little babbling? There's actually so many up here. I didn't even realize how many. Hello, beans. Hello. You're such a pretty kitty. So this is how much I've gathered already. Um, which is a load. They're kind of more orangey than red. But look, sure, look, it's nature. So there was a load that was cut down by my dad when they strimmed the place back. Um, I like, I just, I really like these, um, these little bundles. But I have to be careful. I'll pick that up. I have to be careful about the, the thorns. Oh, I think baby's getting a bit antsy. So I'm just cutting back where they were cut before, roundabout. I'm just following, following in the old owner's footsteps because they knew what they were doing, I think. So there's a lot of work to do and um, we've got December to do it. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to try and do as much decoration, as much like decoration as possible without spending too much money and uh, using nature and the cuttings around us because we live in the woods pretty much now. So why wouldn't we, you know? Um, I'm just going to put on my gloves and pop the holly into the garage and then head in and uh, give this baby a little feed. So here's my next advent project, Vlogmas project. So I saw this on a bowdery and uh, I'm going to give it a go myself. I'm going to make my own advent calendar, advent candle uh, with just a normal candle like that I got as a pack of like 10 or something for two euro and an old candle that I'm going, that I'm nearly at the end at. So I'm going to light that and let that melt down. First off, I'm going to hand off this baby to its daddy. <laughs> so I'm going to prep the base first by lighting the candle. And then I have 
three different pens here and I'm gonna try and decide which one is actually gonna, these ones I feel like are the same. There's a medium and a fine, I, I'll see how we go. So I'm basically gonna write 24 numbers on this. Let's see how we go. Let's start with this one. That was the fine. Well, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I wrote the candles a bit close together. And then we're going to light the candle and leave it lighting for Christmas, I guess. <laughs> but it's but I'm hoping to pop this down into it. So so there we go. That's my advent calendar very simple absolutely cheap cheapest chips as long as you have already in your house a permanent marker and a few long taper candles but much cheaper than buying a specific candle um so yeah i'm going to let this um melt down and then i'm just going to use it as a stand i think yeah think I'm gonna get on with um, making some dinner. It's my next job. Hopefully. So I um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, food and food prepping and the cost of food. Now I have only recently just discovered something called the Oleo app and actually all the potatoes and the sausage, um, not so, uh, all the potatoes and the onions in this soup, all of the mushrooms and the onions um, in this soup, and that's basically all that's in it, maybe a bit of garlic, and all these sweet potatoes, all were free with the Oleo app. So this is what I'm having as a snack. Um, just some sweet potato fries with some mayonnaise, a lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that to, to do its thing. And uh, this is what we're having tomorrow or the day after for soup. And all of the bread that we're going to have with the Oreo app um, with the soup is also has also been completely free. These pancakes for tomorrow, totally free. So what is the Oleo app? Um, it is a community food waste prevention um, project. Um, you download the app and it connects you with other Oleoers uh, or food waste heroes, which connect with the shops. Now, the shops have to sign up to it. And in my area, it's Tesco and Iceland, which um, have signed up to it. And the Food Waste Heroes go pretty much every every so often, every three nights or so, and they pick up all the food that's about to go off that the, that the shops are just going to throw out. So um, then the volunteers, they can take, I think they can take 10% of whatever they, they can collect. And then they take a picture of it and put it up on the Oleo app and say, this is available, come and collect it between a certain time and then I go on there and I click and I say I'd like to collect this please and I just drive down the next day or whenever and I pick it up and it's all free now my freezer is completely full of bread I don't think I'll be buying bread for a long time because bread is very common it goes off that's very very common but I'm so lucky so I really want to share this with anyone who's struggling with um, the cost of living crisis, with the cost of food 
going up because it is actually artificially low, especially in Ireland and the UK. It's incredibly low, um, the value of food. And I think we we probably underestimate the amount of food that's being thrown out because of that and because people devalue food then. Um, I've been looking at some weird comparison videos on YouTube and the cost of food in the States is something like two to three times higher than the cost of food in, in, the, in Ireland and the UK. But I always found when I lived in the UK that the cost of food was so cheap, so cheap. So with the oleo, and the fact that we don't buy meat, but we do buy like vegan cheese, which can be expensive. That's my one thing that I cannot give up is the taste of cheese. But I don't, we, it doesn't agree with us anymore. Um, so we don't buy meat, huge cost saving. Um, we buy tofu, which is about two ninety nine for a massive block. And I, you know, um, I use it, I use it for like three different meals. And then, um, but mostly I use beans and lentils um, for protein. Um, I also have this amazing protein drink, which is actually just like hot chocolate, but it's protein and collagen, which probably isn't vegan. I don't think it is vegan, but maybe, it, hang on, let me, let me get it right. It's an Irish company. It's actually a Limerick company. Um, skin health, joint care and energy boost. So I have been not vegan strictly uh since being pregnant and breastfeeding but i think after christmas i'm going to try and go back to vegan again properly um so it's got marine collagen from fish but does not test taste fishy at all um and it's got pea protein and rice protein so yeah i basically have been a pescatarian um all the way through because baby craved fish and baby got what baby got baby got it. <laughs> um, and it's got extra vitamin C. Um, so yeah, Just Be, it's called. It's amazing company. Limerick Lady set it up and it is delicious. I have it as, I'm having it as a treat, like hot chocolate. But it's good for me. It's good for me. And I use it with, I make it with oat milk, which is particularly delicious. So now I'm going to um, go through my budget and see what I'm going to do with that. There was another, uh, actually, I'm going to have a look at the postnatal coach because we're ju I just went to her class today and she had brought in this beautiful book called the, uh, the Mom Planner, the Mom Planner or the Mom Book. So um, I'm going to have a little look at, like, look at that. It's got like space for meal planning and stuff but I think I need more of a well I'll see what else she has because apparently she has loads of, loads of stuff so we'll have a look and see let's turn off the light and see if it's as effective as I think it's going to be ooh spoopy spoopy baby okay The numbers are on a slant, but I think that's really nice. Yay, I'm excited. So I'm just going over my November budget to see what I spent. And I figured out that I'm actually after getting a pay rise. Uh, I think it's a, it's a, it's a HSE wide pay rise. So delighted about that. That's going to help towards Christmas. <laughs> So we're going to sign off in the candlelight of the first advent, um, which is the 1st of December. I know it's not the first Sunday of advent. That was last uh, five days ago. But um, yeah, we wish you a happy 1st of December. Absolutely lovely to be back. I hope to carry it on and I hope to um, 
bring you along on my adventure for budget decoration. <coughs> Bless you and a budget Christmas and a crafty one. Oh, that was a big sigh. <laughs> She started babbling. It's adorable.